just love these novelty bags, and I think our dolls would like them too. So, I am going to make a fun purse for a doll using puffy stickers, chain, jump rings, cardstock, ribbon, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. I start by picking out two puffy stickers. Let's go with the emojis. For our bag, we need two stickers that are the same. Let's go with this design. Place the sticker onto cardstock, then repeat so that you have two. Carefully cut them out as neatly as you can. So our stickers are no longer sticky and have a paper backing. Cut a 3 fourths of an inch strip of cardstock, fold over the sides. I did a fourth of an inch on each side. Make small cuts, stopping at the fold. Making a fringe. Apply glue to one side, starting about halfway on the sticker, bend it and glue it around the edge. Stopping at the same spot on the other side. Trim off the excess, then glue on the other sticker. And I use a popsicle stick to help hold it in place while drying. This creates a little pocket so our doll can use the purse. Cut a piece of ribbon that is a little longer than the paper. Place a jump ring on the end, fold over the ribbon, and glue it down. So the jump ring is now attached to the end. Repeat on the other side, glue the ribbon to the paper. So we now have two jump rings attached to the sides. I cut about seven inches of chain, open the jump ring, so you can attach the chain, close it, repeat on the other side to make an emoji purse that fits across the doll's body. Since there's a pocket, the doll can carry small items inside the bag. From start to finish, this purse took me about 10 minutes, which means we can make a few more. I found these puffy Halloween stickers at Target. Those two are mirror images, so they'll make a great purse. Love it! This time I went with a gold chain. Make two small chains with jump rings on the ends, attach them to the bag, cut a piece of ribbon, glue it to the jump rings for a different style. If the chain is large enough, thread the ribbon through the loops, fold and glue the ends, and trim off the excess, to add a little color to the strap of the bag. There are so many different ways you can decorate your bag. So get creative and have fun. Thank you for joining us while we made these bags. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting. You make me feel so good. Oh. Give a shout out to Lysa's World in Action. What's up? Now, which one should I choose? The emoji or the cute kitty in a pumpkin? Jade, pick a bag. I've been waiting for two hours. What about the watermelon? Is it too last season? 